Yo, Elliot, quick one. My wife is putting on weight. I know she's pregnant, but I get the impression she is milking this fat so that she can eat more. <laughs> I give her the instructions to follow a certain pregnancy diet to make sure she hits her protein goals and has the right supplementation and nutrition for our growing baby. However, she likes treats. <laughs> Ice cream, chocolate, pudding, etc. I know she's regularly eating over her calories and she's putting on unnecessary weight. What do I do? Am I to make a big deal over nothing? Should I let her enjoy these treats during her pregnancy? Uh, thanks, God bless. And um, cool. We had our first scan at 20 weeks. All looks good. Well, congratulations with you and your and your um, the baby coming. Um, so there are a few ways that I want to a few angles I want to approach this with, which is number one, let her be, let her be, let her be, and there's no need. I would discourage you from even saying anything overt about what's going on. This is where the subtlety of compelling banter will plant seeds in a woman's head. And so you want to you want to create space for her to be comfortable and that's what's happening right now while she's pregnant. She needs comfort foods. That's fine. Her body craves things. That's okay. Let her let her let her gain some weight. Let her put on some weight. It's okay. It might be good for the baby too, maybe, right? Especially if she's hitting all her goal protein goals and supplementations and all that things and then she just indulges a little bit. Let that be. Let that be okay. Let her know that you notice, but in a funny way, right? You can do something. So this is how you, this is compelling banter. This is, this is the way a man com, uh, communicates with a woman in a way that makes her feel safe, but also compelled. I'm just going to give you a, a random example. So sometimes when I notice my wife is putting on a little weight, whatever it may be, maybe, you know, we've been on vacation or whatever the case may be. I'll say something, I'll do something like a little smack on her butt and say, looks like you're getting a little puffy and then give her a big kiss on her chubby cheek. Well, yeah, looks like you're getting a little, looks like you're getting a little thick, right? Looks like you're getting a little puffy there, baby. But you give the kiss, you give the kiss afterwards. So you letting her know that you love her, but at the same time, you letting her know that you notice. Women like to like to uh, like to keep everything covert. They'll th th this is how you know this. Women are the only ones where you go on their Instagram, and they're telling fat, ugly women that they look great. Oh, you go, sister! Some fat, ugly gorilla-looking girl puts on a bathing suit and is on Instagram, and all uh, all her girlfriends are in there saying, "Oh, you look great! You look amazing! You go, girl! You're so courageous!" It's all garbage. Because that, that's the way women communicate. They affirm. You'll build attraction with her if you're compelling rather than affirming all the time, but you do it in a lighthearted way. Lighthearted. Hey, I notice you're putting on a little, I notice you're getting a little junk in the trunk, girl. Starting to look like those girls in a rap video. You know I like black girls, right? Say something like that. <laughs> you're getting a fat butt like them black girls. Let me see you twerk. Can you twerk it? Right? Just, just mess with her. And so it's a joke. It's lighthearted. And you should teach her from the beginning that you're, that's what you do as a man. You have lighthearted banter with her. Uh, but let her know that she's safe. And here's what's going to happen. If you, rather than, two, you have two other extremes. One extreme is to pretend like nothing's going on. Or, 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 yeah, like that's what a lot of guys will do because they're thinking like women. Oh, nothing's going on. Oh, I didn't notice. Oh, I didn't know. Meanwhile, you know, you, you know, you noticed. I didn't notice that she's putting on weight, right? So that's one end of the spectrum. Pretending and then affirming it. Oh, you look amazing. Now, if you actually do like that because you're a chubby chaser, that's fine. Well, you, chill, you like fat girls. That's okay. I get that. I get it. I get it. So <laughs> she's a little fat and you're like, hmm, more cushion for the pushing, right? And you might even want to say that too. Because my wife is such a thin girl that even if she puts on a little bit of cushion, I start pointing out the cushion for the pushing, and she gets immediately is like, oh, stop it. And then she needs, then she starts thinking about losing weight. <laughs> so you might actually like it, but she's going to be, she, you're compelling. So it'll compel her to do something about it because you're pointing it out 
in a lighthearted way. So you have the guy that's pretending like nothing's going on, and he's affirm, he'll affirm all kinds of garbage. And then the other end of the spectrum, you have the guy that's like, hey, like legitimately mean about it. Like, you know, you're putting on weight, and I married a woman that was fit, and I'm not gonna tolerate this gaining weight sort of stuff, and uh, you know, have to spell it out and complain and like you're, you're going to punish her and that, you know, I'm looking at other girls and all that kind of stuff. That's not the way either. That's not very compelling. That shuts a woman down. That's going to dry her up. She ain't going to get wet. That's not going to make her wet for you. She's going to dry her up. You talk to her that way. Both, both extremes will dry her up. If you affirm her, even when she's fat, she ain't going to have no respect for you because you're going to be a girlfriend. And if you too hard, she going to close up because she don't feel safe around you. You got to tell your girlfriend and you got to tell your wife things straight up in a sideways way. I know that sounds like a contradiction. <laughs> you got to be compelling in a fun and light hearted way. She likes treats. Right? You could even make a little joke about the treats, right? the pudding or whatever. It's up to you. I'm leaving that up to you. I'm leaving the charisma part up to you. But this is what's not only going to keep the peace in your home, but it will also build attraction. Because when a man communicates with a woman in a masculine way, in a compelling way, she can't help but to see him as a leader. Because we spoke about this before too, about the way a man communicates is through, is through compelling because he's trying to sharpen iron. He knows as a man that the guy next to him could do better and he knows as a husband that his wife can do better. So rather than being an effeminate affirmer in either of those circumstances, a real man steps up and says, hey, I notice you're getting a little puffy. Slap her on the butt and give her a cheek. Kiss on the cheek. Right? Wow. And you just rub her one, put your arms around her one day when she's real. Like, feel the areas that you feel that are getting a little plump. And just go and, and put your hands on it, rub it around, and say, Mmm, uh, there's much more cushion for the push in here. Mmm, look at all this. Where did all this come from? Start rubbing your hands on the new, all the new fat on her. Mmm, where did all this come from? Start kissing it, pull it. Take a, take a, Take a, a, a roll of her fat. <laughs> Take, I'm just telling you the kind of crazy shit I'll do. And that's why there's still attraction in my, in my relationship. Take a roll of her fat and like kiss it or like bite it. Mm. Right? Nibble on, her, nibble on her big roll of fat and say, mmm, this, this is a nice, thick, juicy cut for me right here, baby. Where that came from? Where'd this come from? And so she's... You're affirming her because you're showing her that you're still attracted to her. You're compelling her because you're showing her, like, I noticed that there's something going on here, right? And you're being very attractive to her because you're speaking to her like a leader, like a man. Try that out. Try that out. That's a dynamic most men haven't heard of. We think that we, we think it has to be, you know, left or right, but there's a middle way. There's a middle way to be compelling and affirming at the same time. That's what being tender aggressive is about. I'm not going to pretend like you're not getting fat, <laughs> but I'm going to let you know in a way that, that makes you want to do something about it. I'm going to tell you what to do. I don't have to tell, when I start pointing that stuff out to my wife, I never, ever, ever tell her what to do. In fact, sometimes I'll just say I like it. I'm like, huh. But I know she doesn't like it, and I know she knows she can do better. So even if I say I like it, she's going to say, you do that to your wife, I guarantee you, because she knows she can do better. You could legitimately tell her, try this. Slap her on her fat butt, watch it shake, and tell her, damn, I like that. I like that. I hope this never goes anywhere. You know what she's going to say? Stop it. That's gross. I'm going to lose this weight as soon as the baby comes. Why? That's what she's going to say, especially if she respects you and she wants to please you. That's what a good woman would do. She wants to please you. So she's, she has her conception of what that looks like also too. And women are critical of themselves as well. So you don't have to be super critical. 
You just point it out and let her decide what she's going to do about it. <laughs> Hope that helps, dude. Done. <laughs>